Hello, I'm uh, Jackie Pfeiffer uh, from the French Pastry School in Chicago, and today I'm going to make sable cookies. The first thing we're going to do, we are going to sift our dry ingredients. So the flour, especially in the summer, can get a little bit humid, and therefore it would be always uh, recommended to sift it so that you don't create lumps in your dough. So once this is sifted, you add your almond powder and your spices. In this recipe, you have cinnamon, but you could always play around, add a little nutmeg or a little clove. So we're gonna mix this around a little bit and set it aside. Now the next step is going to be to cream our butter with the sugar, the vanilla, and the salt. So I always recommend that you use soft butter because once you want to put a little bit of air in the butter, it is very important that it's at room temperature. It's very difficult to put air to make butter light if it is too cold. This is the vanilla. And now we are going to mix this for about two minutes on medium speed. So the next step is going to be to put my eggs in the butter. So uh, stop the mixer, add the eggs, and mix for another minute. After it's well mixed together, it should look like this, very creamy and shiny. That means the butter was emulsified very well. And now it's time to put our dry ingredients in there. Start very slowly first. And then after that, as soon as it comes together, you can go in medium speed, but you mix only until the mixture comes together. I like to make sure that my mixture is mixed all the way down on the bottom of the mixer. And you don't want to incorporate too much air, otherwise your cookies will become too porous and get soggy too quickly. We're going to uh, put this in plastic wrap or parchment paper and wrap it overnight. Let it rest overnight in the refrigerator. The dough needs to rest two to three hours in the refrigerator, but I encourage you to let it sit overnight. This will allow the flour to absorb all the moisture in the recipe. So we're gonna take some dough out. If it's a little firm, just tap it like this. And I encourage you to roll your doughs on a cell pad so the dough doesn't get stuck on the table. And also to ensure that the dough will be the same thickness, you can go to a hardware store and have a quarter inch uh, pieces of acrylic cut for you. And that's a great trick, a uh, very inexpensive uh, way to have a dough with the same thickness. Same thickness means the same, it will be baked throughout the same way. Otherwise, you'll have one area that is thicker than the other, and then the drama starts. A little bit of flour on the bottom and on top. And then you need to start rolling. And always make sure that your dough is sliding on the cell pad. If the dough is not sliding anymore, you need to put more flour. So roll, 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 and see if it's stuck. Starting to stick a little bit, so a little bit of flour will do the trick. Dip the cookie cutter in the flour, 
press and release. Now the next step is going to be to uh, egg wash the cookies and all I did is uh, to take one whole egg, a little bit of cream and a little bit of salt and mix it together, I strain it and I have this uh, beautiful egg wash mixture. Uh, we are going to glaze the top of those cookies with this egg wash uh, uh, two times. The first time it's just to, uh, to apply just the first coat, then we'll let it sit for about two minutes and then after that we'll apply second coat which will give a very nice shine to those cookies. Okay, now that we have waited a couple of minutes, we're adding a second layer. And it's important to not put uh, egg wash on the side of the cookie. It would not be very pretty. The cookies are ready to be baked, and I like to bake mine at 325 degrees, so they have a chance to get, to get very uh, crispy and flaky. I'm Jackie Pfeiffer of the French Pastry School, and this is my Sable cookie. I hope you enjoy it.